Hello my dear followers. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, share our video, and turn on notifications to be the first to know about new videos. Dylan was hugging the pillow and thinking about Baron in the last scene. When Baron walks in, he thinks he's been caught. In a panic, he replaces the pillow. However, Baron notices Dylan's agitation. He gets very close to her. Dylan's inner voice says that I love him. Baron approaches. He says you're going to say something. When she runs away, Baron says what's wrong. Baron, you're hiding something from me. He says your face is red. Dylan panics. Destiny says that she was going to help her sister. She runs away. Baron, for his part, will try to understand the reason for the intimacy with the pillow after. Dylan. He listens to the conversation between them. Dylan goes to the garden. He tries to silence the voice of his heart. Then Baron comes after him. Baron says I'm worried. Dylan says let's go somewhere. Baron says that he is fine. He talks about where to go. He says let's go on a picnic. Baron says that he will be. Dylan goes to his room to get ready. Firet talks to Dirya. He says that I learned the game you played with Ghoul. Dirya says that Ghoul took the money. She adds that he lied to you. Firet's mind is completely confused. Who is lying? It is not clear who is right. Baron arrives in the kitchen. Dylan says I'm ready. Baron can't take his eyes off Dylan. He revived his mother's memories of him. Dylan has a lot to associate with his mother. Together, they prepare the picnic basket. Baron's look disturbs Dylan. He says you don't like him? Baron replies that you are very beautiful. Baron is not very successful in preparing the picnic. Dylan asks if you haven't been to a picnic before. Baron says it was a long time ago, I don't remember much. Azade talks to Kadret in the garden. He goes out of his way to find out what's going on. He finds out from the neighbor what is going on at the summer house. Azade has learned it all. Severi takes Yagmer to the park. However, she disappears after the swing. Severi is quite scared. Baron and Dylan went out on a picnic. Our couple, arriving at a beautiful place, sits in a place by the lake. Together, they set the table. Then they start chatting. They talk about the beauty of spring. Of course, they find traces of themselves in the chat. Out of the basket. Show your love. The rain follows a cat. Severi, on the other hand, searches everywhere for him in a panic. Yagmer Severi says where are you, I'm lost. On the other hand, Baron and Dylan enjoy the picnic. Baron looks at Dylan and smiles again. Dylan says I got infected again. They think of childhood memories of him. Baron recounts his memories of Chihan. Dylan says that it was obvious from those times that you should be a good brother. Severi finds Yagmer. They hug and cry. After dinner, they take a little walk. They sit under a tree. Then they lie down and make the clouds look like animals. However, they cannot be compared with the same animal. Both are opposed to the similarity to each other. Dylan says a sentence that is too long for Baron to object to. Baron cannot object. Dylan laughs and says, let's quibble and see. Baron says you always laugh, I always keep silent. They eat watermelon together. Dylan says to bring Uncle Kudret. He then says that we will celebrate Chihan's graduation here. Baron suddenly thinks of Dylan going abroad. He stretches a lot. Baron says we should take a walk. Then Baron crowns with daisies. Dylan says what are you doing? Baron replies that not at all. Secretly, he puts the check, which Hassan Ghul rejected, in his bag. Meanwhile, Firet arrives in the kitchen. 
He sees Ghoul's bag on the counter. He checks if the check is in the bag. When he finds the check, Diriaz Witch and Hassan's problem are 1-0 ahead. Baron and Dylan wear the daisy crown in Dylan's hair at the lakeside. Dylan asks me. Baron says I thought he could use him. They look at the eyes. They find a swing. Dylan gets on the swing. Baron swings on the swing. Dylan wants to speed up. However, he suddenly freaks out. 4. Baron says you're cold. He says, let's go home now. Dylan says it will happen. Meanwhile, Zumrat calls Dylan. He says that Ollie went to Germany. Dylan says to think like he's going to the army. Baron asks what happened. Dylan tells what he knows about Ollie. It's a short break. Baron says that both the short and long goodbyes are sad. Dylan says that if you carry your loved one in your heart, does it still count as separation? They return to the mansion. Fate greets them at the door. Karim says that he is waiting for you in your room. Baron goes to the studio. Karim says that everything is ready. He says that there is very little time left for the divorce. But he says give up when the road is near. How embarrassing for both of them, he continues. You can share your valuable views with us in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to see more videos. See you in other videos. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.